All right. So we're going to do a quick installation video for the Atom Stack camera kit. Um, this is how the kit should come. Minus the tools. Um, this is the upright, the boom arm with the camera already set on it. Uh, T nuts and everything else that you might need are here. Same with down in here. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to connect the two of these together. Um, this is the way we do this. Go ahead and flip it around like this. If you're not familiar with T-nuts, T-nuts go right in this little channel right here. Um, and you just go ahead and tighten them up. So yours will come a little bit tightened, so you'll need to loosen the T-nut up so it'll slip right inside that channel. Um, and then you will use a two and a half metric to go ahead and tighten them up. Uh, you do want to make sure that you've got a nice square here. Um, adjust this bracket back and forth if you need to um, or whichever way you want to do it um, but this should be you know pretty tight and everything should be reasonably flat so that your boom arm is not sticking out sideways all right so that looks pretty good so we got a nice square going here um, this guy is nice and firm no problems so our next portion is here with the brackets all right what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sticking these T-nuts, two T-nuts in here, in this channel, and then the one on the back side. Then we run the screws through to capture those. It's pretty simple work. Um, so you just go ahead and you loosen them up. Um, I've tightened by hand to get them in. We switch over because this is a, a number three uh, hex key. Get those guys out. Let me do the same thing on this back side here. So there are four of these that hold everything together. The upright arm is all taken care of. All right, so we got those out. Okay, so into our channel, we're going to stick two of the T-nuts. Again, if you've not used T-nuts before, here's how they, they look. And you want the small side out. So we go ahead and we stick two inside the channel. They should go right in, but sometimes they want to fall out. And we can't actually do this uh, um, by sliding them in the end unless you go taking the whole thing apart. Um, since we don't feel like doing that today, this is how we're going to do it. So this is my other way of getting T-nuts into channels. See, now that one's the right way. Let me stick this one in the right way. So you'll be able to move the boom arm back and forth, or the upright, I should say, back and forth to get everything lined up the way you need it. All right, with these rear two already taken care of, we're going to go ahead and we bring it around and we just slip the arms right over like this, grabs it, then we'll move this around so we can drive the screws in. Um, we just want them to be able to a little bit tight. We we'll still want to be able to move this back and forth. Um, that way we can do the same thing on the front side until we get all four screws. Uh, once we have all four screws, we move our boom arm to the center of the engraver area. So if you have a bigger one or a smaller one, either way, center is where you want to be. Um, then you dry, run your screws in, get it all nice and tight, and it won't be at all wiggly. So I'm going to do that right quick. All right, so I got all four in, two up front, two in back. We're all pretty much set here. We're parallel. The boom arm is parallel to the frame. No problems there. The camera is roughly halfway into the engraving area. Um, that's going to be close enough. If you have a smaller one and you, the camera is just too far out one way or the other, go ahead. There's a little screw right here go ahead and loosen him up he's on a t-nut he can slide back down 
and get out into the middle of the area so like you're a smaller a5 or something along those lines that's all you need to do um, once you're done you're ready to go ahead and move on to light burn setup and everybody should be happy thanks